Hey guys, welcome back to another day on the farm. Well, I got uh, this course fly here, and I'm trying to figure this course fly out. I, I got it kind of running right now. Yeah, there's still some bugs, I think, with it. Um, let's give you an example. Part of it's not even here. It doesn't seem like it. Well, I don't really want to change anything on this. I'm trying to see if this will run with this settings here. Just kind of running to doing this field just to see what happens. Uh, it missed a whole row, whatever. Uh, tractor seems to be following, doing its deal. Got the tractor set up on uh, to empty the combine automatically, and hopefully offload when it gets full. Let's see what this thing's gonna do here. So yeah, I've been been playing with this crowd, this uh, course play for. for uh, I was playing on a, another solo map, just trying to get familiar with it again. Uh, it's been a while since I used it. And, uh, it still needs a little bit of work. I need to fix some things. Let's see what this tractor's going to do. Let's jump in the tractor. It's sitting at... Oh, hell, I can't even read that number. Something's garbled up on there. Oh, it's at 25% anyways. It should... Eventually go to the combine. Problem is, I'm using a too big of a combine. It's a modded combine and it holds a hundred thousand. I'm gonna have to go and buy myself a smaller combine just to see if this thing will work properly. Just kind of wondering what this thing's gonna do. Hey, why are you running? You shut off. But um, <clears throat> for instance. The grain wagon, uh, the auger wagon, I should say, it will chase the combine. It'll do its thing properly. It'll even go and unload to the trailer that I, if I park that trailer off on the side. Are you going to turn that? Okay, you did. Good, good, good. Um, but it, it stops. It doesn't continue on, so it's kind of a problem. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What are you doing, Combine? Well, let's see if you uh, eventually do your thing. I don't know what this thing's doing. And I can't get the... the really? You're going to start there? Oh, my gosh. All right, this thing is so buggy. These, these, these fields are kind of wonky, too, so maybe it's just having a hard time with that. You get a stop there. Is that your stop position? No, I didn't think so. You're going to turn around and come back, aren't you? Uh, anyhow, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I can get the, the grain, the auger wagon to offload the combine. No problem. I can do all that. And it'll even go over to the edge of the field. And if I place that trailer over on the side, it'll go on offload into that trailer. But it stops there. It won't continue on, and you have to hit, uh, you know, continue driver or whatever the hell, it, whatever it's called. Um, and then it starts doing its thing again. At the same time, the trailer that's sitting on the edge that the auger wagon is offloading into won't start its route when it's full. And that's the part of the mod that's still missing, I think. And I'll show you as soon as this thing gets all done with its thing there is some cool features I watched some videos of another guy uh, that was showing this mod off and explaining some features to this uh, quite honestly I couldn't remember some of the things so I had to go and watch some videos and uh, see what I was missing or forgetting and all that kind of good shit really that is not how you're supposed to do this there Mr. Uh, Mr. Combine Oh, Mr. Combine. Alright, let's go. Alright, uh, stop driver. Okay, so here, give you an example. So when I'm trying to, uh, oops, wrong button. To 
use it. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. No, no. How do you get off of this? It's just so many things. Where are ya? Where are ya? No, no, no. Oh, uh, I do not want to say that. Let's go. Where are ya? Where are ya? I want to show you guys what what I feel is missing here. Any. I'm losing my mind here. Oh, because I'm in a freaking combine and not a tractor. That's probably why it's not lighting up, maybe. Oh, I got the buttons. Alright, let's go finish this field up real quick. We'll go oh, unload into that tractor real quick. Just finish this up. We're going to have to get a smaller way. I got another field over there ready. And we'll try this out again. And who knows, by the time this video comes out, I may have already got it all figured out. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... I'm just going to go like this real quick. Uh, da -da. Cool, got it all. Just put it on cruise control. Alright, so I guess with this new one, new crew across lay, you can actually set you can actually use balers with it, you know, actually bale the field, you can use uh, mowers with it, and you can alter the path, which is kinda neat. There's a video out there of a guy doing that showing how that's done. Um, I can't remember the youtuber that did it, but Yeah, there's a lot of new features with this one that, that I feel is pretty cool and very helpful When it comes to running a farm, you know solo And there's just a few things that maybe maybe I'm just not remembering how to do it or What I don't know, but uh, we're gonna play around with it and see if we can figure it out over time, maybe it'll come back to me, or maybe I'm right and just things aren't quite done with this. Uh, get over there. Gonna make it? Gonna make it? Oh, oh, stop, 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 buddy girl. There we go. Oh, I heard the tractor starting. Uh, where are you going? You cannot be full. Come back here. I need to offload into you. What are you doing? Are you... Okay. Do, do you feel better about this? Carlos, have you been drinking again? Maybe it's Carlos running that tractor. Little further. Little further. Little further. Come on, you can do it. There you go. You're going to fill up. I like this combine because it holds so much. Uh, okay, you're full. I'm empty. You should be going. Let's put that away. Maybe that'll make you go. Are you going anytime soon? Come on. What are you doing? Alright, uh. Let's see, I can make. Drive now. You are not quite full, but drive now all right let's see what this thing does I've already created a route 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 routes are for trees routes are for vehicles I've already created a route for him to go unload and I don't know if it's gonna work honestly so let's find out let's go ahead and hide that this is route <laughs> it's funny though, as I was creating this route on the path, uh, I was on Discord and Nick happened to jump into the channel, and my headset quite wasn't wasn't on quite right, so I went to just my headset, and I ran into that tree over there during the route, so I'm kind of curious if it will actually do that, run right into the tree and back up and go on, or what? 
Alright. Come on. Are you gonna unload for me? It's such a waypoint here too, so we'll see. If it knows to unload. And nope. So many things are wrong. So why are you... Can I manually do it? No? What are you doing? Stop at last point or at next trigger. No, that's not what I want. Alright, let's stop driver. Let's unload it manually. It's just so many... Just a few things I just don't know about this mod. So, okay, so here, here's probably a good example. All right, so right here, this section, this grayed out button, it's grayed out, it don't work. Uh, I don't think it's in the mod yet. Um, this is the one that I do believe would make, so if you, had a tra if you had a tractor or whatever sitting on the side of the field and you had your auger wagon emptying into it, this is the one that you would use to make your route to go one load at the silo. And then for that tractor to go back to its starting location for the auger wagon to continue to offload into it. So it's not quite done. I wish it was. Because believe me, you know, I'm really curious if this thing will run into the tree. Uh, normal mode. Star course at next closest waypoint. Alright, go. And go. Carlos. Carlos, did you fall asleep again in tractor here? Let's hit this button. Well, see what happens. Continue. I'm really curious if you'll run into the tree, back up, do all this thing. So yeah, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with this. How this is all gonna work? Honestly, it's not. Uh, really wish I'd get this thing to work right. I think what I need to do is maybe. What? Look it up, and maybe somebody else has figured it out, and uh, then I can learn off of them. I guess here it is. I ran into this tree. Oh, sweet! It went around it. Okay, cool. That's so cool. But these particular settings aren't right. Ah, <sighs> so disappointing. It's supposed to recognize the trigger. <clears throat> when you drive over it <clears throat> and it's and it didn't so it drives its course very well all right we're gonna stop driver we're gonna delete this course because it is all fricked up get back into this I'm not recording a course I swear to hell, if you did request driver, another neat function about this, <clears throat> for instance, uh, let's see if I can find it again. I always forget where it's at. All right, so here you are in your course generation, right? Click this little cog wheel right here. It brings you to the map, right? You click, or we're on field five, which is right here, field five. Headlands, you can take off headlands or not. You know, round, around, blah, blah. You know, there's a couple of different uh, narrow field, short edges, or none, right? You can do one pass or multiple passes clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, start work on headland passes first, obviously. Up, down rows, or whatever, right? So if there was anything on this field, we set our, all our settings in here, right? We hit generate field, uh, or course, I should say. And it automatically maps it all out. Boom, 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 boom. We have this set, start location manual. See, it decided to start it over there this time instead of before it started us over there. But it all was all goofed up. And I'm going to cancel that because we're not doing that field. Honestly, I want to go get me a different combine because this combine actually holds way too dang much. It holds a hundred thousand. So you can literally do the whole field in one shot. 
Oh, and it's a very fast combine if you haven't noticed. Uh, let's put you in the building. In here for now. Am I gonna miss that trailer? Kinda. Alright, uh, stop. Down. Off. Alright, let's go and buy me another combine, because honestly, I want to try try it out with a non-modded, but yet, okay, this one holds 14,000, you want to hold 14,000, I don't know, maybe, okay, uh, so it's the 645 FD, which I think I already own, 390,000, god, we ain't got enough money for that. We could just buy a cheap, small little one, huh? Should we buy the, <laughs> the New Holland, the real tiny one, only has 5,000? Uh, buy that one, no. That one's 202,000. We ain't got a whole lot of money. I don't really want to waste all my money on this, but... Um... Yeah... Maybe. All right, so you get the PS PS 500. All right, whatever. We're gonna go with this for giggles. Well, maybe. There we go. No, yep, yeah, yep, that one. Okay. Uh, global. We don't need that. Just go like that. Go like that. Go like that. Back. Header. Uh, where are you? Where's the one that we just bought? Is that this? That's this, ain't it? PS, huh? Power Stream 500. Yeah, that would be the one. And we got the money. This is a, such a small head. Five meters. Oh my god. Could take us forever to do that feel. But that's okay because I want to figure out maybe how to operate this course play. All right, let's go. We can always get more money, right? All right. Let's start you up. Oh, it's a long trip back to the farm. Come on, back up, buddy girl. There we go. Come on. Nope, back. Forward. And hook. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna bore you guys with the long trip back. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, we'll clip this part out and we'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. So where I left you guys, we had bought in this uh, harvester here, and uh, we got it back here to the farm. We're over on field one. Uh, also, I did purchase a JCB fast track and this uh, grain trailer here. Uh, these are non-modded stuff. Let's see if that makes any difference. Uh, this one uh, is a 21,000 liter grain trailer, and this is one of our tractors from the farm, a Case 240, and we got our uh, auger wagon which is 19,000 liters. Not sure how exactly all this is all going to work, but let's see. All right, so let's get her started. So I've already kind of set this all up. I had some issues with it. It wasn't working. I don't know why it's working all of a sudden, but it is. So be it. Uh, all is good. Uh, let's go here. So basically what I've done is Currently loaded course, yeah, whatever. Uh, I would normally have, I have set this to field one because this is field one that we're working on right here. Uh, set it to 4.9, it's a five meter uh, head, but I downsized it one just in case so we don't miss anything. Uh, starting location is a uh, current vehicle position. Uh, got starting direction, automatic. Uh, return first, uh, first point, which would be our starting point. I have that deactivated and I'm taking off headlands. So I'm gonna do is gonna go around in a circle and take two headlands off. See what that looks like. Boom. So basically it's gonna go around twice and then start going up and down. That way we don't run into any issues with uh, anything being in the way, trees, fences, anything like that, which shouldn't be anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy started. Drive course. Go ahead, Carlos. Let's see how this is gonna work. You gonna do it right? 
So we missed some here on the start. That's all right. So he's going to basically just go around twice and take out the headlands. And while he's doing that, let's jump out and quick jump in the auger wagon. We kind of got to get this running. Got to get this set up so it will automatically unload him. All right, so you, uh, we're not really going to set up here. Let's put this uh, out. Whoops, wrong button. I meant this button. There we go. Uh, we're going to do, transport. we're going to do empty combine and offload. Okay. Ooh, really? Well, huh. I don't really want to run a course with it because it won't offload. But, there we go, let's do this. It's jumping this one. I didn't need to do this, but that's all right. We'll off the mule. And we are going to have our start point here. Drive one, two, three, turn. Come around this tree. Whoop, turn some more. Thank you. And you should offload right there. Perfect. Let's hit uh, waypoint. Oh, wait. Set unload point. Hmm. Crapola. I do not want to, okay, let's cancel this. Let's, oops. Stop, delete. All right, I think I, I might have just figured out one of my issues that I've been having. The combine is still going around. So let's go like this. Start core recording. One. Two, three, turn. I always do kind of three dots. Right? That comes back to the FS days, FS 17 days. You always kind of wanted to do three dots in a straight line when you first start your recording. I still kind of do it here. All right, let's uh, put you out. And is that going to be right? Eh, it's close. We can move that tractor up a little bit. Unload point. And then we're going to set you to here. And stop recording. There we go. Now, find combine automatic. No. Oh, maybe automatic. Set it to field one. And I think we do drive course. Work tool needs to be unloaded. Let's see what he does. Come on. I'm going to close this just because. Oh, or not. There we go. To drive around. Hopefully, it'll go to its stop point and then go to go find the combine. Hopefully, and do you not see the combine there? Oh, oh, there he goes. All right, go get the combine done. We can close that for now. Oops, wrong button again. You guys can't see me clicking the wrong button, but I did. Let's move that, put that close. So I set to drive behind combine. 
which is a little bit different than FS-17. Before, you had to put it close to the edge of the field, and then it would always search for the combine, and sometimes if it was too far away, it wouldn't find it. Now this thing will actually... Are you going to miss it? Okay, good. It'll find the combine and stay in close proximity to it. Which is kind of cool, in my opinion. Video might run a little past 30 minutes, but that's all right. I kind of want to show you guys. Oh, wait. We want to go to the GCD because I got to move it forward just a titch. Like so. Shut you off. Click. Oh, saving. Okay. All right. Let's enter that vehicle. Alright, so it unloaded in there. I don't see nothing in there. I hope it's in there. Waiting until fill level is reached. Okay. Let me go sit in the combine. I believe I have this set to also stop while being unloaded. I do believe. Stop during unloading, yes. Not sure why I did that, but whatever. It is what it is. You can change that so as it's unloading, it'll, if it does stop, it'll. Oh, here comes the tractor. Um, of course, it'll move while unloading into the grain cart. So there it goes. It's going to make its turn. Nice little turn there. Tractor's coming up to unload. Will it stop during unloading again? Or will it keep going? I don't know. Oh, yep, yeah, it does. So we can change that because obviously he's not full. Let's. Where is it? Is it this one? Oh, let's see. Where are you? No, not that one. Settings here. Stop during unloading. Deactivate that. Hopefully next time it unloads it, it'll keep moving. And my real big question, because I was having issues before when it would unload, or when the trailer would get, the uh, auger wagon would get full, it'd go and unload at the, tra at the dump point at the, the, at the grain cart, but wouldn't restart and go back to the field. I'd have to tell it to uh, continue or drive or drive now or whatever it is. Come on, tractor. Get to come on behind any time now. I think it's 40%. When it hits 40%, the tractor comes. I think. Forty percent, and the tractor's in on the move. Let's go sit in the tractor. How full is he? He's at 38%. He should wait until he's full and then go off load, obviously. Now we can start seeing some grain in there. Get up there.
Now we could change his speed. Right now he's at field work at 14 miles per hour. Let's change that. You want to be, oh, excuse me, sorry, a little burp there. You want to be careful on the speed because he's, if you got it going too fast, it'll, so it, it may not stop in time right next to the, the harvester. Uh, it's reverse speed, we're gonna set that up a little bit. To six turning speed, we're gonna set that up to ten. Okay. I don't know what this normal mode is, but whatever. We'll keep running this vid until uh, until she goes and unloads. nice you can see everything everything's automated you know and it's that's what we like so now it's waiting until waiting position is free so now drive to waypoint whatever those numbers are which is somewhere in the field which is obviously right there and now waiting until fill level is reached again back to the sky which obviously will be 40%. I went with a smaller, uh... oh, okay, so we made our two rounds, so now it's gonna start, it's up and down. And as you can see, it's missing some here, and I think that's just because of the first row, the calculations of its its route, its path. It should hit better on its next run down. We'll have to see. Uh, but anyways, uh, I picked a smaller equipment here for this for this video for this purpose. Of being able to show is that tractor going to follow? Or 45 percent here. Uh, anyways, so we kind of do a few things. There it goes. I was wondering what the heck. I thought it was 40 percent. I should wait for the combine to do its thing, or, oh, we're slipping. Or you're gonna unload. A little buggy. We'll see what happens. It says down there in the screen on the bottom left, 330 number one is slipping. I'm not sure what that is or what's going on there. All right, so you're empty. Are you thinking? Are you still slipping? Uh, okay, well, maybe you just had to think. I didn't do anything, so all I did was open this up. Maybe I just had to think for a second there of what I wanted to do. I've had that happen before. It was like a delay, and it's like Carlos here has to, uh, I don't know, eat his taco or something or whatever he's doing in the combine. Let's go back to that tractor. What are you at? You're at 71%. Uh, you're going to move soon, right? You're not even close to the field. Hopefully. Come on. You're not even running. Well... Okay. Let's 
go sit in a combine. Where's the combine at? 32%. We'll see if that tractor comes to it. I don't know why it's sitting way over there on the side. Didn't even seem like the tractor was running. Maybe it shuts itself off to conserve fuel. I don't know. If it does, that's kind of cool. Come on, Carlos. I don't know what your dad's doing up there. Pedro, you better get moving, buddy. Yeah, I mean, he's way off our field on, not even on our property, so that's a little odd. But we'll see what happens. Fifty percent, and you're not even moving. Fifty-four percent. We may have to do something about that. Continue. Combine pipe is in fruit. Oh, do I have that turned on? Where is that? Settings. Pathfinding activated. Let's turn that off. So that's another feature of this. Um, because of crop destruction, it'll recognize that the pipe is in the in the field off the, on the wrong side for unloading and it won't drive through the field but you can turn that off and on right here by with the pathfinding I had forgotten all about that so that's kind of neat too neat little function about it all right so this should Almost fill this guy. Maybe one more trip. Was this 19,000 this wagon? Might have been. So he's not going to be able to fill or offload him again. Totally. Drive to waypoint, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 what you doing? Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Is my game crashing? Enter vehicle. Exit. Well, I think we got ourselves a problem here. Something buggy's happening with the game. Uh, we got a bug issue. But, you know what? I guess uh, with that, we're going to end the video here. I'll pick up the for the next video pretty much where we left off. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please smash that like button. Uh, if you like the video, make sure, you know, if you're interested, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit post notification button for future videos and live streams. And until next time, guys, later.